just leave them. Just leave them all. All your friends, your family, your job, your hometown, just leave them all. I'm walking in on my last day of work. I'm walking into the gym in the morning and I'm walking into the locker room just to clear out my locker. I didn't tell anybody I was leaving, didn't tell any of my managers. Um, told one of the other coworkers that I had that was close with me. And honestly, I kind of regret telling him, but that's besides the point. I'm going in to clean this locker. And uh, in the locker room, I bump into this one dude that I hardly talk to. And he sees me cleaning out my shit. I'm like, fuck, man. I'm trying not to make eye contact with him and shit. I had worked at this gym for a year. And I really never had a conversation with this dude. And that says a lot about the work environment there. But I'm going to clean this locker out. And he's like, you leaving, bro? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're a smart man. And this dude's been working here for the last seven or eight years, I want to say. And he's telling me that. That says a lot. Never had a conversation with the dude. That says a lot. But leading up to that point, I just want to give you some background. Because I had been at that job for a year at that point. I left on my 24th birthday last year, coming up on a year now. I had been at that job for a year. When I got to the job, I had just cut off all my day one homies. I had just cut off my family and I had just cut off all the drugs. It felt like I started a new life. And so I'm coming into this job after just leaving my old one, cutting them off too. And feeling like, you know, like a, like a damaged person almost. Right? They told me when I came into the job, I came into that gym and um, the regional manager told me like, you should go to this gym and not the other one because we're trying to recreate the culture. So he said, it'll be easy for you. I'm like, what's that mean? He's like, we're trying to recreate the culture. There's gonna be a lot of cuts there. So I'm like, all right, I need money because I was literally about to go broke at the time, about to go homeless. And my family kicked me out, told me not to come back home. So I'm like, all right, cool. I told you guys this story I spent that year working seven days a week, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., working my ass off. And um, being that they were trying to change the culture, I did put a lot of work in to get my own clients, but I was also given some clients by my managers because they were trying to put the pressure on these other employees, or these other trainers who had been working there for the last couple years, motherfuckers were veterans. Like they had been there for years. Management somehow changed every three, two, three months, but these trainers had been there for four or five years. So there was a big discrepancy. There was a big difference between the trainers and what the management wanted. And the trainers felt like they owned that place. The trainers felt like, fuck the management, right? So when I came in, and I started getting all these clients and motherfuckers were training people underneath the table. They started to feel like, oh, you think you're the shit now. And they started to feel salty towards me. They got, they got angry. They felt like I was giving preferential treatment. And hey, maybe I was. But regardless, it created a toxic work environment. 
And for me, all I knew, I didn't give a shit about none of that shit at the time. All I gave a shit about was getting clean off the Zans, getting my money up so that I didn't go homeless, and just getting my mental right, getting my back right, my lower back. I had just went through lower back surgery and I was just trying to get, just trying to heal myself, man. I had just cut everybody off. So I was just coming into work, just carving out my own little circle. I'm a, I'm amongst, I'm, I'm a little fish amongst some fucking great white sharks. So I just came in, I just got my money and motherfuckers didn't like that. And, um, you know, I spent basically the majority of that year Isolated, And I spent the majority of that year not even talking to the other trainers at this gym. But towards the end of my venture there, I remember getting cool with this one dude who hated me at the start. But I started getting cool with him. And he, you know, I remember having this conversation with him um, because all the other trainers were training people underneath the table. And I saw what was going on. I didn't want any part in it. I just wanted a clean conscience after all the shit I had done. And um, I remember having this conversation with this dude and he's like, yeah, bro, like I see what you're doing. He's like, you know what they're trying to do? They're just trying to pump you up. This dude had been a trainer at this gym for the last five years. He's like, they're just trying to pump you up. They did this to me when I came in, then they're gonna slow you down. You know, they're gonna take you off that morphine drip and they're gonna keep you coming back for more. And I just remember him telling me this and he's telling me to start training people underneath the table. And I'm like, all right, and I'm hearing what he's saying. And eventually I started doing what he was saying and it led to a guilty conscience. And within a couple of months I was out of there, but he was right because towards the end of my tenure at that gym, they went through all different sorts of management changes. They implemented all these new policies. Remember I said I was in the locker room. I, I used to hide, like I used to have all these bands and chains that I bought for my clients to show my managers that I was the best trainer there and I was really committed. So I did this for all my clients and, um, you know, cause I needed money. I wasn't trying to kiss ass or nothing, but I needed money. So I used to keep all this shit in a drawer behind the trainer desk, right? They started implementing all these bullshit changes. So I had to go and put this shit into a locker. So every time one of my clients came in, I'd have to go walk all the way to the fucking locker room just to get my shit. And that's why I was in the locker cleaning my shit out on my last day. Right? So they started implementing all these bullshit new policies. They started stripping clients from me. They started telling me that they were going to demote me and bring my fucking pay down. So I saw the writing on the wall far before it was ever gone. And I, I thank this dude for telling me that, you know, I'm thankful for it. But I look back at all the trainers there. And um, I look back at that moment where the one dude caught me in the locker room and told me I'm a smart man. And that said a lot to me. Because in that moment, I realized you just got to leave. You just got to leave them. You just got to leave them. Not feel bad about it. Not not tell anybody and never look back, you know? And while this was just one isolated incident, this job, the job before this job, I've told this story. I was about to go homeless. I couldn't support myself. My car had just broken down. And I told the job before my training job that I told them that uh, I couldn't support myself anymore and that I needed a raise or I needed to work there part-time. 
And I, t I shit you not, that same day they had me packing my shit up because they didn't give a fuck about me. And even before that, you know, I had been through a lot of shit of just losing friends, losing people, people not giving a shit about me that I gave everything to, or I felt like I gave everything to. And I've come to realize I'm no longer, I no longer hold any harsh feelings towards anybody or anything. And I don't think you should. You should always fucking move on first. Because the longer you stick around, the more salty that you're going to become. And if you're not willing to forget what somebody did to you, you should not forgive them. Why should you? Why should you not move on? To hold some sense of moral superiority over them? Fucking move on. What you don't realize, I started to feel this sense of belonging at this gym, making relationships with some of the other trainers after a year of it just being uh, a, a minnow in shark's water. So being isolated for this last year, finally getting this sense of belonging at this gym, I started to notice myself, I didn't want to leave. But the writing was on the wall and I knew that I had to. And it was tough for me. Just like it was tough for me to leave Chicago for Texas, but the writing was on the wall. And this is the thing, if you don't fucking move on, other people will first. If you don't move on first, they will. And they will not feel bad about it at all. They're not gonna feel bad about it at all when they move on. So why the fuck would you? And why the fuck would you tell them that you're gonna leave? I didn't tell anybody at that job. I didn't tell my managers that I was gonna leave because I knew what was going to happen. Whenever you tell them that they're going to leave, that you're going to leave, they will try and fuck you over first. Or whenever you tell them that you're going to leave, if you tell somebody that you're going to leave too far in advance, that you're going to leave your city, whatever it may be, they're going to try and get into your head. They're going to try and bring you back down. When I left Chicago, I only told my mom like three weeks in advance. I didn't tell any of my other family members. I didn't tell any of the other friends. You just gotta, you just gotta move on and never look back. And I know that shit sounds cold hearted as fuck, but I went through a time where I didn't have anybody because I stuck around waiting for other people that I did favors for, that I felt like owed me. And that was fuck up number one. Don't fucking feel like you have some sense of moral superiority over somebody just because you did something. Just because you did something for them. And don't feel like their ass won't move on. You have to move on. As a man, your life has, your, your life, you gotta be willing. And, and the thing was, I was getting that sense of belonging. I was getting that sense of belonging at the gym. But when I felt that, that's how I knew it was time to leave. That's the cold hearted truth of being a man. When you start getting comfortable, you have to pull your shit out of that. You have to always be willing to sacrifice your current sense of belonging for your future. Your wife, your woman, your employer, you get satisfied, bro. You're not moving forward or the, or circumstances change. They're doing pay cuts. They don't have room for you anymore. They find a new person. Their ass is moving on from you and they're not gonna feel bad about it. That's the harsh reality of being a man. You always gotta be willing to move on. You always gotta be cold hearted. And when you do move on, realize that other people are not going to understand it. They're going to try and make you feel guilty about it. 
They're going to try and make you feel that guilt and you're going to fucking feel it. But you got to consciously remind yourself not to feel guilty about it because that shit will eat away at you. You got to consciously remind yourself that they would have done the same too. You got to consciously remind yourself that you cannot show up as a compromised version of yourself. As long as you show up as a lesser version of yourself, they will respect you less and they will eventually leave you. That applies for anybody, your friends, your family, your employer. They will all leave you. They will all move on from you. So you have to move on from them. As a man, you must always be needed and never needy. Familiarity breeds contempt. Do not get too familiar with people. Value your presence, value your energy. And most importantly, be willing to move forward and leave people in the past without any explanation, any need to explain yourself, without any forewarning, and without feeling guilty about it at all. That's what the fuck a mark of a real man is. He's willing to give up everything for his purpose because I knew that gym was never my purpose. From the moment I came in there, it was a stepping stone for me. And I don't say this as some egotistical fuck. I just knew, I, you know, I, I love the people that worked at that gym. I love the other trainers despite their hate for me. But I knew that place was never my home. I knew I was bound for greater things. So when I came in, I had that expectation and you gotta have that expectation as a man. You gotta always keep your deeper purpose close to you. I always knew that place was a stepping stone. And when I saw the writing on the wall, I was out because I had experienced that type of situation before. I had experienced being left behind. I had experienced what that does to a man. And once you have that cold ass fucking experience, you will never be able to unsee it. So it's best to move on, not forgive people, not try and make amends with the people or not try and stick around for them because they will move on from you. Just fucking leave. I don't know what you're going through right now, bro, but just fucking leave. The perfect time is gonna come never. The perfect time for you to leave her, to leave them, to leave your job, to leave your family, it's gonna come never. And you just need to do it with no explanation or anything. Just take that chance on yourself. A real man always keeps his purpose near and dear to him, puts it above everything. You gotta put that shit above everything and everyone else, your purpose. Because without it, you are nothing. Without it, you are not shit. Because nobody loves you idealistically as a man. They only love you for opportunism. Only love you opportunistically for what you are right now and what you have constructed. Not, for, not, not even for what you are, but for what you have constructed out of yourself. And as soon as you lose that, they will lose you. So just leave. Just leave. And if you're ready to leave your job, you're ready to leave that old life, hit that first link in the description. I hate to plug it up at the end like that. But hit that first link in the description. Get on board our school community. I've created an entire course in there about how to leave your hometown. And this shit is dope as fuck. And the, and the best part about it right now is that it's entirely free. So leave that shit behind. Take that fucking chance on yourself. Have a little bit of an ego. And that's it.